Hello, I'm joined by Sonia Davis today, a recent client of mine, and we've jumped on here to talk about her journey because it's a journey that a lot of people can relate to. Sonia is in a senior leadership role at work. She's director of finance at an engineering company which makes the silicon for Silicon Valley. And she's progressed really quickly in her career is in a senior leadership role, a global leadership role. And that's when we started working together for her to work on her communication and feel more confident given that she has to do so much speaking in that role. So Sonia, it's lovely to have you here. Tell me a little bit about where you were when we first started working together. Gosh, well, when we first started working together, I was really struggling in, in my role and I felt like I wasn't communicating effectively with people. I was wasting a lot of time. I always had a meeting on a Tuesday and to be honest, I waste most of Monday preparing very badly for that Tuesday meeting. I think in the evenings it was on my mind. Um, I wasn't really able to sit and play with my son and enjoy myself uh, and I just thought, gosh, I need to do something about this and change it because it's causing me a lot of stress. Yeah. And so what had you tried before we worked together? Well, really, I'd focused on, you know, books, reading about how to present well. I'd focused on, you know, watching TED Talks, that type of thing. But I hadn't really, I tried away from the practical side. And I think that's because that's where the fear is, isn't it? Of, um, you know, actually doing the presenting. So you want to do less and less of it and that's probably the wrong approach and so what was the first thing when we started working together that made the biggest difference to you would you say absolutely the mindset work that we did without a doubt and I think I had one particular fear about getting it wrong so standing up in front of people and getting my numbers wrong and I watched the video back the other day actually and it, it was the way we, we worked together um, and you, you kept probing me and saying to me, well, why do you feel like this? What is it? And actually the route was a bit different to what I thought it was. Um, and it wasn't that I was getting numbers wrong. It was only that people had a different opinion, that I was taking that as me being, being wrong. And I think once we'd uh, you know, really understood that and shifted that perspective, I be suddenly became a lot more confident. And then we could use your methods from there to build up a good structure on how I could present. And so tell me about that presenting. How's it been going? It's been going fantastically. Um, I think I've perhaps done five or six presentations, so not that many, uh, exactly in, in the format that, that you did. Um, and each one of those have been for, for big presentations with the CEO, uh, one in front of 200 people, uh, others where I'm presenting to management teams, and I've had such good feedback from them. People have really remembered later what, what I've said and they've actioned it. So months later, they're still referring to the things to the extent that the CEO mentioned something which I had told him in his Christmas message to everyone. Wow. Wow. And you've also changed, haven't you, a little bit something to do with the culture of how people communicate because I know when we spoke about this you were saying that typically people interrupt a lot in your company when when someone's speaking and that's sort of just how it is but you've managed to change that a little bit change people's behavior by the way you communicate yes definitely the one thing that I really noticed is when when I was talking people would look at the board look at the presentation and not focus on me whereas by doing much sparser slides uh, and by not putting everything that I was going to say on my slides, find that people are looking at me, engaging, and it makes you feel more confident about what you're saying. You had an event the other evening, didn't you, where you were actually presenting an award at work. So it wasn't a, a kind of typical business presentation, but you were there having to speak. Tell me about that. Yeah, absolutely. This was a um, big business improvement competition. There were more than 200 people there. And I remember thinking last year, gosh, I could never get up on that stage. And I did a very short presentation. Afterwards, people were coming up to me saying, what a brilliant presentation it was. And this was maybe one or two minutes within a, a full day of presentations and, and talks and that. And in my one um, speech, people were saying to me, it was the best thing that they'd heard all day and I ought to be in marketing. And how did that make you feel? Because that's such a difference, isn't it, to how you were four or five months ago? 
Yeah, absolutely. It made me feel just so happy. I just felt like I'd absolutely conquered. Um, because for me, for my job, all I needed to do was talk in front of senior people in small groups. I never even dreamed that I could talk in front of 200 people. So really just when I was writing it in my back brag book, I felt so proud of myself. And so what does this mean for you now, Sonia? What are you feeling that you can do going forward? Because ultimately this is about, you know, creating the career that you want for yourself, isn't it? It's more than just being able to speak confidently and competently and feel good about it. This is about the future as well. So where do you want to go with this now? So I think that it's going to help me really secure my position, my leadership position, whether it's within this company or if I move into another one. But it'll also change what I see as um, accessible to me. So now I feel like I can talk in front of large groups of people, you know, it, where, wherever my imagination takes me. And, I, you know, I really want to build on that and keep talking in front of people and look for those opportunities. That's brilliant. It's so brilliant to hear. And Sonia, what I've loved about you is that you've come to this with a totally open mind because sometimes people arrive doing the program and they think the problem is one thing and actually it's something else as you identified and you've come to it and you've just shown up and you thought, I'm outcome driven. I want to get to where I want to get to. I want to feel good about this. I want to be able to do it properly and I'm open minded. And that's the best way to be. You've just been so coachable. So lovely to have you in the group because as People may or may not know we work together one-to-one, -one, but also in a group situation. And you've added so much to those conversations. Did you enjoy that process of working with others? Yes, absolutely. And it, it was so strange because it, I was really fearing it. I was absolutely thinking, you know, if, if I, this is something that I'm struggling to tackle on my own. I didn't want to share it with even you and then to share it with another group. But I mean, that is where the value is from. And when you start getting that supportive feedback, um, it really does make all the difference. Yeah, because you see there are other people, other women like you, doing really well. Some wanting to, you know, progress further in their careers, but they're all struggling with the same stuff. And then you don't feel like you're alone. It doesn't feel like such a big deal, does it? So that's, that's a really important part of it. Sonia, I'm so excited to see where you go next. I loved getting your email the other day telling me about your presentation in front of 200 people. And uh, I know there'll be many more of those, those messages and, uh, and really excited to see where you go next. So thank you so much for telling us about your journey so far. Oh, thank you.